Okay, let's have a great day, guys. It's 2020, Waco Rock Rodeo. excited that 2020 saw the 27th ever Waco Rock Rodeo. Talk about a tradition. Don't be timid. I need some 512 plus climbers down here. It's awesome. Best bouldering course ever for a competition. Tim, do you have a strategy for today? Right? Oh, God, dirty. I came here to chew bubble gum and kick some ass. And I'm all out of gum. Climbers from all over the world come to compete and to find community and to party. You're not competing. I am competing. You are? Yes. Oh, I didn't know you were also competing. Oh, yeah, no. Tell me that much. Somebody's got to come in last. <laughs> and don't be a snotter, be a spotter. I tell you what, man, because like when you're a good spotter, everybody wants to climb with you. And when everybody wants to climb with you, you got a better chance of hooking up. <laughs> It's interesting to see uh, the godfather of bouldering, John the Verm Sherman, also coming back in into the Masters category after winning the first Waco Rock Rodeo. Last time I competed in the Rock Rodeo was 1989, which is Rock Rodeo 1. I won the Open. Don't think I'm winning the Open today. <laughs> But my baby, if I come in last, uh, you know nobody remembers who comes in second to last. I <laughs> still got it. Hell yeah. <laughs> but if uh, I want to come away feeling a winner, it will be because I help turn people on to how cool it is to be at Waco Tanks and how Mother Nature set these amazing routes masterpieces. This is like the Louvre of Western Hemisphere bouldering here at Waco. And it's up to us to go through the boulders and stare up at these masterpieces and look at them and say, wow, how am I going to adapt myself to meet this challenge? Have it. American Alpine Club is a club for all climbers and the rodeo is a way to give back to the bouldering community and bring it together. We recognize the value that this event brings to the community and what better way to continue to grow the rodeo and make it better every year than to bring on a partner like Brooklyn Boulders who loves the Waco Valley as much as we do. It's great to be associated with the American Alpine Club who represent 
values and ethics and stewardship that's so necessary to keep areas like Waco tanks open while still maintaining the sustainability necessary to preserve an area like this for generations to come. Having John back here um, is really inspiring to see somebody who's so necessary and pivotal to our sport coming back to the birthplace um, and just absolutely crushing it. Big move, good ball. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Having so many people that are new to the sport, being able to talk to a, a mentor and be able to interact with somebody who put bouldering on the map here at this location is amazing. John is one of the best people uh, to educate and to share with the next generation of climbers. Good in the way that that's awesome, senor. It's like what is rock climbing, uh, how to respect the area around it, and what's the real value of climbing outside? What does it mean just beyond the physical capabilities? I know we're here at a competition and we're filling out our scorecards. We need to chase numbers to do that. And the numbers are fine when it comes down to finding problems of a, a level you might want to try or having a little carrot in front of you to try and improve. Uh, your efforts from week to week, month to month, year to year, but don't become slave to those numbers. Take it from me, I created the number system. And if that's all you're climbing for, you have fallen for my evil plan. When you climb for the numbers, I own you. So take it from me. And not just you, but half the world who's decided to use V-grades. Don't let the numbers rule you. Be master of your experience, not slave to my numbers. What makes the rodeo so special is definitely the people behind the event. Everybody from our sponsors like 510 and Sportiva. And of course, have to give a huge shout out to our volunteers who are the people that make the event happen. And to the local community that comes out in a really big way to make the event so awesome. We had an artist market this year with some really fantastic wares like these earrings from Sarah Clark. We had a local food truck that was serving up some tasty grub. And we had a bunch of local vendors and the Simply Conscious Network. Simply Conscious here guys, Ryan, Jacob. And we wanna say we're 100% blessed for the participation in this year's Waco Rodeo. Absolutely phenomenal vibes. Um, looking forward to next year's on our part, it was great working with Brooklyn Boulders and the Alpine Club. Uh, we know there's improvements to be made and we're excited to make those. And we're ready to go for the 2021 Waco Rock Rodeo so that we can continue sharing this amazing place.